I want to thank uh, both for arranging for a, a student demo today. Uh, all, all through the morning, we're going to be doing uh, computer science information systems um, demonstrations. Uh, this is actually our freshman demonstration that we are uh, starting our day with. And then after this, we'll be adjourning into the uh, Collins Auditorium uh, to see some of the other work of our uh, sophomores and our juniors. We have some exciting things for you to see this morning. I'm very proud of what uh, you're going to see today. Uh, these students have done uh, some amazing work. Um, just as kind of a brief uh, introduction, quite a number of years ago, uh, students at Daniel Webster freshmen started developing uh, single client gaming systems, casino games, uh, and did some excellent work. And sometimes they did board games like Monopoly. But there were single client games that you would just play on that one uh, PC. We eventually evolved that to where they've then developed a full family of client. One team of about four students would develop a full set of client games. So in one term, in 14 weeks, uh, they would develop uh, crafts and slots and uh, roulette, et cetera. And, uh, uh, but this, uh, and every year we've tried to um, move them on to a new level. And so this year we moved them on to a very high level. And we actually asked them to develop a full complete ca casino system. Come on. Uh, and what that entails is, a, is a, a, a pretty significant step forward. In addition to developing uh, a family of casino games where somebody could uh, walk into a casino floor, log on to a video terminal, uh, and then begin to select where they want to play uh, craps or five card draw uh, or slot machines, uh, he, a, a player would log in and then in a real casino, uh, he would be kept track of in the back room, uh, what I call the back room uh, machine control as well as keeping track of the player's win-loss records so that the casino would be able to uh, dock from a debit account um, the money that he was losing or, of course, add money if he's winning, which is very rare. But nevertheless, um, that's how real casino systems actually work. So this year, what we asked our freshmen to do is we asked them to develop a full and complete casino system, a set of multiple client games, uh, as well as the TCPI commu commu communication back to the server, as well as the database software to be able to keep track of player statistics um, and account information as well as the sheet information. Well, we have several teams that are going to demonstrate that uh, for you today. That's a first. Uh, that's a first for Daniel Webster College. And um, I speak all over the country uh, uh, at academic conferences and I'm very aware of what's going on in uh, academic institutions with freshmen. And I can assure you that this is never done anywhere that I know of at this level of complexity. What's very interesting about this particular class, and why I'm especially proud of them, is that we actually took them into a brand new language, csharp.net, this year. They had never, ever, 14 weeks ago, had put a single picture up on a window of themselves or anything else, let alone a gambling system with craps and uh, all the dynamics that go along with gambling. So I'm quite proud of uh, our teams. We have two teams today, each of them four students. I can introduce uh, team A, uh, Gil, Matt, Peter and Brian, uh, Team A, are going to get the, the four clients right here working, and uh, they'll be talking to the back room um, uh, client management system and player accounting system, which you'll see demonstrated. So, fellas, why don't you um, log on to some games and kind of talk to the audience through a little bit of the different games that uh, you've uh, developed. Um, and as those games are being played by the students, uh, if you'll notice on the board that uh, Every time a win-loss happens, it's recorded on the uh, on the screen. So uh, we'll let them log in, and then they'll take over and uh, kind of share with you a little bit of what they've done. Uh, you guys all run your own game? Yes. Yeah. I think. <laughs> 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 you should know. Huh? <laughs> As you can see, they're logging on. And, uh, okay, Peter, why don't you introduce the slots, and then we'll go to Brian and come over to Gil with that. Um, this is a slots game I made. Um, it started off as just a single, standalone application, and then we eventually integrated it all into the whole system so everybody's going to be playing at once. And um, it talks to the back room, as you can see, is my bet, I'm betting the max right now. And um, you'll see the asset change up there shortly. It should be the same as right here, so the assets there, always. And um, you can change the denomination of slots you're playing, so you can play $1 slots or two $100 slots. Um, it shows you the pay table right here, so how you win, what you get, what you spend. And um, you can start
stuff the individual things as you want to. Uh, or you can let it stop once in a while. I keep telling them to put a secret button yeah, there. Right. 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 Now this is an amazing piece of work. This is a progressive slot machine. Um, so it's ticking constantly. Um, as he mentioned, he can change the number of bets. Amazing graphics done. Um, uh, full object oriented code, something they've never done before. Whether you understand what that means or not. Many custom <laughs> classes have been developed for this. Um, the, the interesting part of the process that we use, which allows our freshmen to do this, um, which they may not want to tell you this, but actually they learn all of the technology that they need in order to do this is done on an independent study basis. Okay, um, That's part of how you do massive knowledge assimilation. That's something um, that uh, they probably never experienced before. Uh, and we'll have them talk to you a little bit about some of their fears, doubts, and insecurities as they began this process. But before we do that, uh, Brian, why don't you sh uh, talk a little bit about your craft game? Already. I made a craps, a craps board here, and uh, to start, we need to place a bet on the board. So you take a chip denomination down here, it's a uh, $100 chip, put it on the pass line, my assets decrease, I can place as many chips as I want, and stack up, and when I want to shoot the dice, I'm going to shoot, I roll across, got a nine, which sets my point, um, just keep shooting. Eight. Well, as soon as I roll a point again, I win. Or if I roll a seven, I lose. Eleven. Nothing happens. You should have played the entire uh, back line uh, with a roll like that, Deb Right. <laughs> <laughs> you made a lot of money. Yeah, rolled a seven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can place multiple bets. Notice that the white chip there is placed there on the back line. Uh, very nice stacking of the chips as he places multiple bets. Uh, now he's betting into the field, he's betting into the hard ways, um, any crap, etc. It's a full, complete uh, uh, gaming system. Uh, and uh, that's one of the bad things about making lots of bets and crabs is you lose quicker. Uh, very, uh, very nice graphics. I like the offset uh, uh, visual effect there uh, that he has uh, of the table. Kind of gives a nice 3D effect, also with a nice uh, dynamic, um, uh, nice playing. Um, in addition to each of the uh, individuals doing one of the games, uh, they all work to integrate their product. And then uh, Brian was the predominant author of the server side uh, client management and accounting system. Joe, why don't you introduce us to your game? All right. Um, I did blackjack. Um, basic, you know, basic table, uh, bunch of chips over here. Bet, and as you bet, the it shows you how much you've actually stacked up, and it also tells you on the side here how much you've actually bet so far. So, as you bet further, if you put more fives, it gets to the point where it's the next chip up, it'll actually change the color for you. You always have the cost chip stack. You go ahead and deal 15, so I'll take 20, 10, and you win. There you go. So, and everything's printed out on this little um, text box where, you know, uh, if you go broke, you can go to the bus, you can deal, you can blackjack, whatnot. So, I've got um, double capabilities. So, okay, here's insurance. You can deal with that, I'll try to offer you insurance. Um, I don't ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to deal with that. Okay, so I'm going to deal with that. Yeah, I'm going to deal with that. You can um, also this double card. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> um, if you hit double, it doubles your bet, and you get one more card. Right now, it's not really a smart idea, but I'll do it anyway. I just won, so <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Matt, why don't you introduce us to your uh, my card draw? Well, I did a poker game, and as with Pete's. You have one dollar poker game up to a hundred dollar poker game. Um, it's a, like a standard poker game. You, you can bet one if you like a low person who doesn't want to 
very much money and 